What's up guys? First time I'm here in uh, actual Brisbane city and I'm here at one of the, not the best beach, probably not the best beach in Brisbane, but uh, definitely an amazing, an amazing scenery here and just some place relaxing that I love to get out on when the weather's sunny uh, on a day off, day off of training, uh, which at times is very rare. In, in general, every day pretty much of the year, I'm always in, found in a table tennis hall. So it's rare that I get a day off and I really appreciate all the days that I do get to come to places like this and <clears throat> see something different. See something different than table tennis balls being hit and just enjoy the whole surrounding and uh, enjoy the feel of it. Enjoy the feel of feeling relaxed and being in my mind, uh, being in my body instead of my mind. The topic that I want to talk today about is dealing with pressure, uh, anxiety, nervousness, and why that's a good thing. Why you should not be worried about it, why you should stop overthinking it, and how to deal with it. So this has probably been one of the most popular topics I've ever received from anyone, anyone who has reached out to me for any help at all. And the question is, why do I get nervous? Well, the questions are, why do I get nervous? How do I deal with it? How, and this is, this is the one that really, not triggers me, but makes me think there's some understanding that you need to do. How do I stop being nervous? Let me answer the first one first. You never stop being nervous. When you stop being nervous, that is a bad thing because it means you don't care anymore and you're not willing to put effort in to improve yourself. Think about it, right? Anything that you've ever invested in, your car, your pets, do you care about them? If the answer is yes, if the answer is no, that's a bad thing. That means you're not gonna treat it well, you don't care about it. If the answer is yes, beautiful. That yes means that if anything happened to your dog or your car, you're gonna freak, you, you probably won't, you might not freak out depending on who you are, but you're gonna feel worried, right? You're gonna feel anxiety, you're gonna feel stressed, and it's almost no different when you play a table tennis match that you really wanna win, or that you really expect yourself to do well in or win. Pressure is expectation, and having expectations is a great thing, believe it or not. I know there's some people out there that say that it is not a good thing, but pressure and expectations is a blessing and you should be super glad that you have it. Otherwise, all the work that you're doing to get the result that you want is meaningless, right? Why would you put in all the amount of work if one, you didn't um, want to get the result or two, you didn't enjoy the process of doing it? So does the pressure stop? It never stops. In fact, the higher level you are at a sport or anything, the more pressure you receive, the more pressure you feel. It makes sense, right? The better you are, the more expectations you're gonna have. So obviously, comparing myself to, to Ma Long, Ma Long is gonna have, or, or you know, the, the Djokovic's and the Dahls, they're gonna have more pressure on themselves. They're gonna have more expectations to win bigger things than I am. Naturally, they're gonna have more, more pressure. They're gonna feel more nervous. They're gonna have more, external stimuluses that are adding to it as well. Likewise, I'm gonna have more pressure than the 12 year old Australian table tennis boy who, you know, who, who knows he's still young and he's still got a long, 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 long time to go. So for those that are in club level, play, club level matches and feeling a ton of pressure, the difference is that the higher level you are, the more you're able to deal with those, uh, those pressures. So again, the main message today is to understand that Pressure is a great thing, accept it. When I was about 17, 18, 19, I had mentors that told me to accept the pressure instead of trying to run away from it. Once you're able to accept it, you're able to just deal with it and flow along with it and play and do your thing and focus on doing your thing rather than, oh my God, I'm so nervous. When you don't accept it, you start to freak out about freaking out. You start to think, oh my God, why am I nervous? That creates then, it adds to it and it creates a negative loop. Whereas if you were to accept it, you think this is what I'm feeling, but I'm able to, I have confidence that I'm able to deal with it. Then you're able to focus on what do I want to do on this next point? What do I want to do right now? 
because it all is about right now, bringing yourself into the present moment, regardless of how you feel, what external pressures you're, you're facing. You accept them, but then you focus on now. So that's the key message to deal with dealing with the pressures. It's something that you need to practice. It's something you need to cultivate for yourself. It's something that you need to find your own tactics in, but um, knowing the right way to, to deal with it is a start, right? A lot of people go through their lives with have, having no idea how to, how to deal with pressure and they eventually quit sports or quit whatever there is, it is they're doing because it gets too much for them and they don't know how to deal with it. Or you have some people who go through it so much that eventually they start figuring out a solution to it. Just be the guy that, be the person, guy or girl, be the person that takes advice on board, utilizes it, and then uses the most quick and effective way to, to deal with pressure. The next time you're in a pressure situation, in anything in life, whether it's sport, whether it's a presentation, understand that it's normal, it's totally normal, learn to deal with it, be happy that you're in a situation like that because it doesn't come up all the time. It's gonna strengthen you. The more you put yourself in this situation, the more you'll be able to deal with it, the more you'll strengthen yourself. And the next time, as you do it more and more, you'll just naturally notice that, hey, this is quite familiar, it's no big deal. So that's the difference with the top athletes in the world. They're able to think, yeah, I'm very, I'm nervous as hell, but I'm able to deal with that and it's not a problem, you know? I'm able to deal with it. It's just like those 50 million other times that I've dealt with it, no problem. And uh, I had another key message, another key message about pressure. Um, so yeah, understand one, learn, learn the correct mindsets to deal with it. Because really, how you think, in, the, in, the, in this kind of world, in the world today, how you think does determine how you, how you behave and the results you get in life. It really, it's underrated. It's underrated how, how true that is. Second one is to um, understand that pressure is a good thing, accept it, embrace it, try to put yourself in as, in as many pressure situations in life as possible. Get out of your comfort zone. And the third one is that and I realized this through my own journeys. Imagine a life where you didn't have any competition, any, um, any uncertainty. You just knew the result of everything you're gonna do. There was, no, there was no uncertainty, there's no pressure, there's no matches, there's no, uh, there's no high stimulus situations, right? You never do a speech, you just sit in comfort for the rest of your life. That might sound nice, right? For, for a day or two. But then you live your whole life that way and then you're gonna realize there is no excitement. And you can try this for yourself. And most of you have probably realized this during COVID lockdown. And the reason is, I remember a time where I was playing so many comps, just a phase where I was playing like uh, six comps a month. And I thought to myself, because we humans, we try to get into a balanced state as much as possible. So I thought, all right, I'm playing six competitions a month. I just need a break. It's too much. I just need to do some training and feel, not feel that tension and, and, and you know, high pressure for, for a little bit of time. Or I just want to break from it. Then I, then I would, there will be times where I don't, there are no competitions for like a good solid month and a half or whatever for a very long time for me. And then I would start to feel really bored. I'd start to feel, oh my God, all I'm doing is training. I just want to go overseas and, or interstate and play another competition again. I just want to feel those butterflies. I just want to feel that um, intense pressure. just want to feel that excitement of uh, not knowing if you're going to win or lose. So every special victory that I've ever had, every big, uh, this is funny because every achievement that I've had, it is not the actual result or achievement that has given me the greatest satisfaction. It's overcoming that hurdle it's, it's not knowing whether you're gonna win or lose. That, that whole build up, the whole uh, not being able to sleep, feeling uneasy, not knowing if you're gonna get what you want, and then eventually working through those, um, those, those enjoyable and tough 45 minutes on, or so on the court, and then coming out through winning that match. Even, even the ones that I've lost, I've felt terrible at the moment, in, in the moment of losing, but then those are, those are my biggest blessings because I learned my biggest life lessons through them. The ones that I won, they're the victories that uh, stay with me forever, that have built my confidence, um, built my character. So whether you win or lose, you're gonna be better for it. 
you're already better than most of the people in the world. 95%, I'm not gonna make up a number, but you're already better than most people in the world for putting yourself out there and, and understanding that if you lose, it's not really losing. You're either winning and you're gaining something or, or you're gonna or you're gonna become stronger as a person from it, even though you feel bad in that moment. Most people shy away from these uh, tense moments. So if you just do that, right, and you just keep doing that, keep doing that, understand that you're, understand that you're building your strength and your character every time that you do. So the next time you feel anxious about a match, understand everything that I'm saying and take it with gold. Um, depending on your situation, right, most people are not able to keep playing uh, high pressure matches for the rest for their whole lives until they're 80, 90. Some people can and good on them, but yeah, embrace that uh, anxiety that you feel before matches and make the most of it. Hope that message helps. Uh, I'm just under 10 minutes and I hope that, uh, I hope that just gives you a lot of uh, insight into how, how to think for matches, how to think for pressure situations in life, because it's all the same. So again, peace out, like, comment, subscribe, and comment, comment below if there's any other topics that you would love me to cover, and I'll make sure I find time to do it. Cheers, guys. Peace out.